Okay, so how to make a Mixamo girl following a curve in Blender. And if you can like and subscribe, I would also really appreciate that. So let's just get into it. So I'm going to go File, New, and General. And before we just to start off with everything here, I'm just going to show you one important thing. So when you're downloading a character from Mixamo, you want to make sure that you check this box in or in place um, when you are using this curve technique so if you're not gonna have a character following a curve you, you don't need to check this box but in this case check this box for in place okay so let's just go a x and delete here i'm gonna go file import and import fbx and i'm just gonna find my beautiful pretty girl and import her like that and the first step here is that we need to expand the walk animation so what you need to do is just select the armature like that and just to show you you can see that this animation stops around 42 frames so let's change this from the timeline into the dope sheet and change the dope sheet into the action editor and now what you need to do is to give blender uh, an id of um, not an id but um, store some data into blender basically so we're just going to type in walk and remember to press enter and push down like that and now we can go to the non-linear animation and here we have a walk strip and if we scroll all the way down into action clip here we can just hold down shift and drag this repeat like that and now we can decide how long we want this uh, girl to be walking for so i'm just going to go for a high number here so like a thousand frames like that and now she will continue walking for a thousand frames so let's just also change the timeline to a thousand frames like that and now we are ready to make her following a curve so we're going to use a curve circle and this technique works with any kind of curve but we're going to use a curve circle so just go shift a and curve and circle i'm going to scale it up four times like that and now I can select the armature and then I'm going to hold down shift and select the curve and then go control and P and we're going to set the parent to path constraint. So path constraint like that. And now we can select the armature again. So only the armature and then go over to object constraint properties and um, you may depending on your curve uh, you may have to experiment a little bit with this um, axis here but uh, for me it works fine just to set this to minus y and check this box for follow curve and animate path so let's see so now she's flying around this circle like that so the next thing we need to do is to have some control over the speed so what we can do then is just click on the curve and go into the data properties here open up the path animation and now if you set this frame number to higher amount we will slow down the speed of this uh, 3d girl here so if i set it to 1000 like this and she works walks perfectly fine around the circle and she are now ready to go on a date with you my friend <laughs> okay so that is it um if you can like and subscribe i would really appreciate that have a great day wherever you are and peace out